we're building inside of Lego brick puppies. Yeah, I do. Dinner at Zizi's by the Tower of uh, London. Zizi's. Is it? <laughs> we got some ravioli and some wine, and Matt got some cider and some pizza. That he's uh, probably gonna, not gonna finish. <laughs> I'd like to point out stuff. The wine stuff he got is from California. <laughs> Oh well. At least my drink, at least my drink was from the great country of the United Kingdom. Again, oh well. So now for dessert. Your adorable one scoop. I know. <laughs> just not very hungry, but I wanted to try it. So something I just noticed is here in London, they have the red light, the yellow light, and the green light. And instead of it being, instead of it going, yellow then red it goes red then yellow then green so that way the yellow is preparing you to start going instead of preparing you to stop yeah for the longest time i just kept being like everyone's just going so fast how do they know that it's about to turn green where are we right now st paul's cathedral the original cathedral burned down in the great fire of london and this is the rebuilding that was designed in the english baroque style <laughs> which always yeah you can fancy. tell <laughs> by the columns <laughs> that sounded smart though, right? Oh, it was also... You totally bought that. <laughs> yeah, I can remember what the bro style includes. Mr. Um, Dome would be so disappointed in me, but I couldn't <laughs> tell you either. Um, Princess Diana was married here. Well, that's reason enough for us to be here. So in keeping with the Harry Potter theme today, uh, we are approaching this bridge here. Uh, Stephanie, what bridge is this? Millennium Bridge, and it's the bridge the Death Eaters destroyed in, uh, I believe, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. It is 6 a.m. in the morning. We stayed up way too late last night. Uh, we are sitting in uh, Terminal 5 at Heathrow, waiting for our flight to Edinburgh. segment it's Matt's fun fact segment okay so uh, we were in London right yeah and now we're in Edinburgh so uh, in the UK they have uh, four regions right mm -hmm. that are uh, they kind of operate like states do uh, in the United States and those four regions are London sorry no England <laughs> England Scotland uh, Wales in North Ireland. Nice. The more you know. Edinburgh City Center. So we just turned a corner and oh my gosh. So pretty. We're at the Waldorf Astoria in uh, Edinburgh. A big thank you to Jake and Anna. Annika, Katie Lim, and Grandma Helen for helping us get the awesome room. <laughs> First up, we have the bathroom. Uh, the most interesting thing about this bathroom, uh, these are heated, so the towels are like warm. Stephanie, Stephanie's mind was blown when she realized that. <laughs> And uh, this room right here, this area right here, is just the entryway. Sorry. It's the foyer. <laughs> the foyer is out. The foyer. Yeah. And then uh, we have the uh, main bed, the king size bed here. You know, TV. Uh, significantly larger than the last two hotels. We three hotels, we, two hotels. We stayed Probably at. like the same size as the whole room. Like yeah. This whole section. And uh, I was able to surprise Stephanie. Um, because one of the reasons why we came to Scotland is because she really wanted to see this cool castle. So, 
when she walked in the room and looked out the window, she was treated to a little surprise. There's a, uh, a view of the castle on the, uh, the dormant volcano right up there. Now, that's it, right? That's the whole, the whole hotel? Oh, yeah, sure. No, there's more over here. It's a whole other room with a sofa and free champagne and... And, and a second TV. This is TV yeah. two. Pretty crazy. And then another foyer in here. Yeah, and another foyer. <laughs> We're pretty positive yeah. that this hotel room is bigger than our apartment. Yeah, probably. Most definitely. <laughs> Birthplace of Harry Potter, the Elephant House in Edinburgh. All right, so I strongly oppose the next place we're going. I mean, come on, the man had a hard life. <laughs> you know, he lived and he died, and when he died, all he wanted one thing, just one thing. He just wanted to rest in peace. He didn't want all this fame. He didn't want all this celebrity. Dang it. He just wanted to lie in his grave and enjoy the rest of the existence of the earth. We found it, his grave. The inspiration for Professor McGonagall's name. I have a question, and this is something I've seen in uh, both England and Scotland. How is this a thing where people park on the same side of the road, but they face each other? Like, look, there's no one in there, there's no one in there. It makes no sense. What, what's up with that? I don't, I don't, we don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. So our one and only night in Edinburgh, we're getting some Scottish food at a pub. Nothing says Scotland like a hamburger. <laughs> but what does it have on it? <laughs> it has it has some like Scot Scottish uh, like sauce on it. Haggis, haggis. It's a sheep thing. Yeah. He's gonna find out what it is <laughs> and whether it's good. And then I got a steak and ale pie, which looks quite good. Dessert time, sticky toffee pudding. So yummy. So how did you enjoy your day in Edinburgh, Stephanie? Oh my gosh, it was amazing. That 